this message is just for you. You are good enough. This is the episode for you. If you are feeling like the slowest language learner that the language learning world has ever seen, or you're constantly looking for ways to speed this process up, I made this video just for you. So if you've spent more than about 10 minutes in the language learning world, you will definitely have seen a whole load of videos, blog posts, social media posts, telling you about how people have learned languages really, really fast. Three months, a week, people mistake me for a native speaker after six months. You all know the drill. And even if we know deep down that a lot of the time it's clickbait, it's there for the algorithm, it can still be really demotivating when it accumulates. Because then, in spite of ourselves, we still find ourselves Googling what's the fastest way to learn my language or what's the fastest way to get fluent. And we open ourselves back up to the same world of snake oil advice that made us doubt ourselves in the first place. Because the thing is, language learners, you know what the fastest way is. The fastest way is to stop doing everything else. It's to uproot your whole life, either by moving to a place where everyone speaks your new language, or by completely overhauling your entire daily routine, renounce your native language entirely, and speak to literally everyone you can only in that language. It's to only take a break from speaking when you're listening to the most varied array of content in that language that you can find. It's taking a break from that only when you're studying the vocabulary and grammar that don't come up in day-to-day -day conversation or day-to-day -day content. It's refusing to speak or read in our native language at all full immersion in which you are speaking and writing as much as you possibly can. If you want the fastest way, do nothing else except language learning. But I don't think most of you do want the fastest way. A lot of people start by giving up everything, by throwing themselves all in, they stop meeting friends, they stop doing their hobbies, and then when the returns don't come fast enough, they get disheartened, and they really resent the huge sacrifices they made to the rest of themselves and the rest of their lives. The thing is, when you started your degree, on the first day, I bet you didn't head to Google and try and find out how to be finished within a month. And when parents proudly bring their newborn baby home, they also don't head to the internet to find out how to get their baby writing novels and investing in real estate in a year. It's like with some things, we accept that they take time. But as soon as videos start popping up left, right and centre, telling us that other people have done the thing really, really fast, it makes us feel like we can short circuit the process too, and that if we don't, we're falling behind. And for most of you, especially the reluctant learners among you, who've been Googling this just because you really want it to be over as fast as possible, I think reframing the idea of the time might be helpful. When you take out a mortgage, most people don't try to pay it off within just a couple of years because they fully expect it to take time, maybe even several decades, and instead they pay off a little bit each month so that they don't notice it as much. They don't give up everything they possibly can to pay it off as soon as possible. 
And the thought process that goes into language learning is exactly the same. The best way to make it sustainable and not to hate it is to make the least sacrifices possible, to make it as fun as possible, and to make it as compatible with the rest of your life as you can. You didn't learn your native language in three months, and you are not going to learn this one in three months. Even if you're learning your native language's closest relative, even if you're living in the country, and even if you really want to. You can certainly make a lot of progress in three months. You can make real impact in three months. But if what you're aiming for is to be fully proficient in the language, to live in it, work in it, socialise in it, watch films, movies and series in it, you have to be willing to invest time into the language as well as effort, because it really does take both. So how about we ask different questions? Let's find out how to make it more fun. Let's find out how to make it align best with our goals, or how to make the most of what we already do know to create the most stuff with our language. Because fast isn't the answer, sustainable is. And language learners, even if it feels like it's going to take your whole lifetime, I promise you it won't. Even if you feel like you aren't making any progress at all, keep going, keep moving in the right direction. You aren't behind, you aren't being slow at this, and it will get easier. Have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.